All right, what's going on guys? Greg here. I have uh, part three of three of a video series I'm doing where it's basically showing how to install sound fonts on different soundboards, or excuse me, different versions of Plector Lab soundboards. So this is gonna be the Crystal Focus 8 tutorial. And like I said before, it's very similar to the Nano Biscotti V4 and the Prism V5.1. This one's just gonna go into a little bit more detail of some of the features of the CF8. And uh, so yeah, let's get started. The first thing you're gonna need is a micro SD to USB reader. So as you can see there, micro SD slot. And then this is the USB, obviously, that you would plug in your computer. So you get your SD card out of your saber, plug it in there. And when you do, you'll have something like this pop up for the Crystal Focus 8, where these are all your, your files, which I know there's quite a lot of them. So um, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna edit bank one and I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna explain what some of these are and kind of what they do and you know what you can do with them. So what you wanna do is you wanna take all your files, control A to get all of them. You wanna copy them and you wanna have a spare folder that you can use to edit your files. So you are going to take your, your files off of, <coughs> excuse, me, excuse me, you can take your files off of your board and you're going to go into, I have, these are all my commissions, and this is my testing folder. So you're going to paste all the original files in, like so. Give it a second. And then you're also going to paste the files into your edited files folder. And by doing this, what it's going to allow is that you're going to use this folder to do all your editing. You can change anything you want, whenever you want. And then you're going to have your original files that are going to always be there for you in case you mess something up. Um, you can download them from plectorlabs.com as well, but it's just easier to have them right here. So we're going to stay in the edited files folder. You can exit out of this, the Crystal Focus 8, because we don't need that. And now we're going to edit today bank 1 out of 12. So these are all your files that you have. And so what you want to do is you want to Command A. I said control A earlier, it's, it is command A. And you wanna hold command and click one, two, three, four, and I believe that's it, of the text files. Four, yep, okay. And so you wanna keep those in the bank. And then you're gonna get rid of all your other files, delete. I'm gonna put that there, I'm gonna highlight all these and move them to the top because I have OCD and I want it to look nice and pretty. So I'm going to explain what each of these does first. So config file is your main settings for that particular sound bank. So there's so many things that you're going to have to read the manual to go through, but there, you know, this is going to control all your main settings. So this is like your LED settings, your flicks and your pulse and uh, different thing with like how your flash on clash works, your resume, which is like when your font comes back on, the hum, and all these different things. Um, this is your LED parameters and whatnot. So you can kind of read the manual and see what they do, but I'm just showing you where each thing is. This is, these three are all just your accent LEDs and what they're going to do while your saber is idling, while your saber is on, and then while your saber is in lockup. So idling and they're all the same. This is your, your eight spots on your accent LED pad. And zero means off, one means on. So this means, you know, nothing's on for 500 milliseconds. Then your number one pad is on for 500. Then your number two, and then number one and two, and so on. All the way down. Um, again, this is for, like, your crystal chamber mode, if you want to do stuff like that. And like I said, read the manual. There's a lot of things you can do with the Crystal Focus 8, but this kind of gives you an idea. And so th these are essentially the exact same file, but this is when your saber is on, and this is when your saber is in lockup. Okay, and so now what you want to do is you want to get a sound font on here. So what you have to do is go to, let me just move this out of the way, is you want to go to www.saberfont.com, as you can see here. And I am on K Sith's page right now. And we're going to choose one of his sound fonts that is optimized for Crystal Focus 8 on the Plector Labs boards, which, as you can see right there, that green, that, that yellow toast, that is a Plector Labs. So what are we going to choose today? Let's do, let's go to another page. 
let's see, Ascension. Okay, because this was actually the font that I had K-Sith uh, do up for me. It was a personal font, and, and it's just, I love this font. Everything about it is, is amazing. Uh, so then you would purchase it, download it, and once you do that, it will show up, you know, wherever you go to your downloads, and you want to save it. And for me, this is my folder with just all my sound fonts. So that's what you see right here, all my different sound fonts. And I'm going to go into Ascension right here. And this is all the Ascension sounds. And all you have to do, essentially, uh -huh, is highlight them all, copy, and paste. And that is almost it. You can exit out of your sound font. And now you're back in your edited bank one with all your new sounds and any new settings you put on for your LEDs and your config. And then your bank one now has Ascension on it with your new settings. And you can do the same thing for bank two, three, four, you know, all the way through. You can delete a bank if you don't want it. Um, but you want to, if you're going to delete it, I would keep them in order, bank one, two, three. Don't do like bank one, two, three, four, seven, nine, twelve. Like you want to have them, you know, chronologically one through, you know, whatever. Now, before I put these back on our saver, I'm going to show you a couple things that all these do. Uh, so, beep is just, which is when you go into your, your menu, and then it cancels the opposite. Uh, this is your menu, and what it says, you can hear it. Sound bank selection. Um, and this is your, your background music. And so you can actually, if you have either a Saber Smith, not a Smith, sorry, a Saber Font Creator, or you can do it yourself if you know how to, you can create any file, any noise, any anything, and name it beep or cancel or menu, and you can change what these say. So you could have it where it could be Vader's breathing. And if I were to do that and I just name it menu.wav, this, when I when you go to the menu, instead of hearing sound bank selection, you would actually hear uh, Vader's, you know, breathing. So you can kind of mess with those things if you want. Uh, this is just some some shout outs from the original makers of the board to for the font makers and whatnot. And then two things left. First is tracks, which is there's the saber track mode, so you can go into after bank twelve, and you can play this, the Imperial March, and it'll actually sync to your your save which is pretty cool so you can do that with any song any noise which is pretty awesome and now the big file for the crystal focus 8 is your override file which there is quite a lot of stuff in here okay so we'll go through some of it i'm not going to go through all of it but i'm going to kind of get you guys up and running on some of the things this does so this is your menu volume obviously um and then beep this is your main volume of your saber um, let's see, let's see, type of switch, these are your sensitivity settings, oh no, sorry, these are your repeatable settings, settings, excuse me, for like how often a swing or a clash or a spin will be triggered. This is your sensitivity settings and your combo settings and whatnot, so you can kind of edit these to make your saber more or less sensitive. This is if you're on bank one and you're going through bank one, two, three, four, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is just going to show you what bank you're on if you have accent LEDs. And these are your color profiles, which will, excuse me, which will uh, decide the color of your, your blade. And because the the CFA, technically you can do a four channel drive, so you could have R, G, B, you know, red, green, blue, white, or something like that. So you can you can do things like that. Um, and so if this was an RGBW Saber, this means that this would be right now would be a green uh, font. So it kind of gives you an idea of, of some of the things you can do. And yeah, like I said, this is just this is just a little preview of some of the things you can do. But that is the override file. And once you edit that how you would like, and once you edit all your sounds in your bank then you're good to go. Um, the main takeaway is editing your bank and following those steps. Uh, once you do, you can skip to this part of the video and and talk about formatting your card. So, all you have to do to format is you go on and go here to Disk Utility. You want to click on the CF8. You want to click Erase. You want to rename it if you want to, which I don't. Choose MS-DOS FAT. 
erase. Make sure it works. It might take a minute. Because that is now formatted. Now if you go in here, it is blank, empty. So you know that it is formatted correctly. So now you can go you know, to your edited files that you have put Ascension in bank one and you've changed some of your, your override files or settings, etc. You can Command A, take all of them, Command C to copy, go in here, and you want to paste. Um, it's very important that you do not drag and drop. You have to copy and paste. That's really important for each of these just because it's, it's how the, ma the manual says to do it, and therefore I listen to it. The only other thing to note is that if you're going to change anything, any bank, any sound, any anything, you have to reformat every single time. Even if it's one particular sound, you have to do it. It's just the way it's set up, and so, like I said, get used to it. It's not too bad of a setting, because you can you can edit it all, and then just format, drag, drop, and you'll be good to go. And as you get the hang of it, you know, you'll, you'll get used to it more, and you'll be good to go. So, but now this is all on my CF8, and I can eject it. And once I do that, I can take out my micro SD reader, and you'll be good to go. So thank you guys. Like I said, I appreciate you guys sticking along for, for all these videos, and hopefully they really help, because I know that people are struggling on how to change sound fonts on a Mac, and so hopefully this makes it a lot easier. Um, let's say if you guys have any questions, just contact me over my page. And like I said, I hope this helps. Thank you.